In this how-to video we'll be uh, demonstrating the way in which you would change the paper size for each paper cassette on the Xerox Work Center 7220 and it also applies to the 7225. Um, when I when we say the paper size cassette, what, what, what I mean is if you put A4 in here the machine will normally ask you to confirm what's in the tray and okay that. There is a, a chance or the option for you to set a tray to be a dedicated size and sometimes this can cause problems. If you go into copy you'll see here it says A4, A3, A4. Well, what you can do you can set a tray to be dedicated A3 or dedicated A4 or whatever you have it and how you would do that or quite more correctly how you would correct the issue where a tray has been set in the past to a dedicated A3 tray and you now need to use it for A4. You need to access uh, the, uh, the machine menu in such a way that you can remove its dedicated status and allow it to be adjusted by the guides in the tray. So whatever you put in there, the machine will do what it just did for me a few moments ago and ask you to confirm. If this isn't set up like that, it will not allow you to put any other type of paper. Anyway, how you would get into that menu would be to press the info button Tools, paper management, tray settings. As you can see, it says adjustable. That's how you want it. But in case you want the tray to be dedicated, you select dedicated, save. This will be a dedicated tray based upon what you currently have in the machine now. If it was set to A3, it would remain A3. If it was set to A4, it would remain A4. If you close out of here, go back to the main menu, copy, which one did we select? Right, you'll see that tray 4 is set to A3 and it's dedicated. Now let me show you what happens. This is A3, but you are allowed to put other types of paper in it. Now, or if it was set ordinarily, if we go down here, remove the A3 paper, take some A4, if we were to load a A4, Now we'll tray tray. We'll, it asks you what tray, what paper is in tray one, because we just removed paper from there and we close it again. Hit confirm. Now it says paper mismatch tray four. Tray four is dedicated to a single paper load. Right. Load the required paper and adjust the size guides. It's set to A3. This is the problem I was talking about. So now, since you want to not have A3, you want to be able to put what you want in tray 4. This is the type of thing that happens. See, tray 4 is A3 dedicated. So now just to go over what we've just done, this can happen a lot. Press the info key. Okay, close that. It's going to keep telling us. Tools. You now select paper management. Scroll down to tray settings. It's undedicated. We don't want that to be dedicated, so we'll change settings. Turn it to adjustable. Select save. And now it will ask us what type of paper we've put in there. So it's fully adjustable. It will respond to whatever you put in there. You see, it's adjusted. All of the trays are adjustable now. And no matter what we put in those trays, particularly in A4, because it's adjustable, it will set itself up according to what we put in. And that's how you set up uh, the paper settings for each tray, the paper size settings. Thank you.